In this video, I'm going to show you another simple t-shirt design technique for non-designers. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So in this video, I wanted to do it again. I wanted to help you out and give you another t-shirt design technique that you can use if you're a non-designer. This is really simple. Uh, t-shirt designs. Of course, this isn't the only t-shirt design. So last time I showed you this video here, and that was the simple design of putting everything on a grid, making it all lined up. Um, a lot of people like were saying, but this t-shirt looks different. Of course, there's so many different ways to design t-shirts. These are just some of the simplest ones that you can do just to make sure that everything looks well. So in this one, I'm going to show you what I call the arc and graphic design. Basically, you're going to arc some text above a graphic and then maybe put some text below the graphic or you don't have to it's all up to you but that's what this technique is you're going to see it a lot i'm going to show you all the different places online where you can see it and, and you'll see it all over now that i show it to you but this is just a real simple way that you can get a t-shirt design out there so that it's lined up correctly and it looks nice and it's readable and everything works out so you're going to want to stay till the end to see all the different examples i'm going to show you step by step on how to do it where to get some uh, designs if you need them and i'm going to show you my final product on what i came up with using this technique and of course another edition of trend credit so lots to see in this video again you don't want to miss it let's get started so i'm here in affinity designer because this is where we're going to do it you can use whatever graphic program you're going to do but i'm going to use affinity designer and this is where i made this design if you've seen my last video about how to come up with ideas you'll notice this design that i made at the end it's called sushi and sunshine but look how i laid it out there's an arc text above it there's a graphic in the middle and then there's more text. Now, you don't have to, the graphic doesn't have to have a vintage sunset in the middle here. I just did it because I had vintage sunsets available and I wanted to show you how to do that. But the graphic can be any graphic and I'll show you that later. But basically the arc plus graphic design is this. You have some arc text and you have some graphic here, very simple. And if you have more space, if the graphic's not big enough or if you wanna add more text, then you can add more text here, but that's optional. So let me show you some examples that I pulled from Amazon. I'm going to sc scroll over here. Look at all of these arc text graphic, although this graphic isn't like your traditional graphic. It says 2021, but then more text on the bottom, even for queen, right? Queen graphic text on the bottom. You get the idea graphic. So this is a text here that's arced and the graphic. You see, these don't have any vintage sunset. They're just a graphic, right? You can do it for sharks. Even Disney is using it. My weekend have a graphic is booked, right? So you can see it's being used all over Amazon and um, a lot of people use it. I use it a lot personally. It's just because it's a simple way to, to design a t-shirt that fits in that tall rectangle space, right? And of course, it also gives you some interest because when something's on an arc text, you're gonna have to look at it a little bit to read it, right? So it kind of draws your eye and like, what does that say? So that also helps. And of course, um, because graphics aren't always straight, uh, this arc text really helps um, fill in the space with some graphics. You can see this graphic automatically has some rounded edge to it. This one also has it. Um, so uh, this Orca kind of has a rounded edge. So on Threadless, you can find this as well. Uh, Threadless, if you don't remember, Threadless is a good website um, where you can find graphic t-shirts. It's one of the top places to find graphic t-shirts on the internet today. And look at what some of the artists are doing. Arc text, graphic, arc text, graphic text. You can see it's being used everywhere. So now that you know that it works, now that you've seen everybody do it, you saw I'm using it, you saw people on Amazon are using it, different designers there, different designers on Threadless. It's something that just works, it's proven to work. So let me show you how to do it now. So the first thing you're gonna need is the graphic. And you don't have to start with the graphic first, but I think it's the easiest way to do it, especially for non-designers, because you can start with something here and then build around it instead of trying to do it the other way. This is just makes it a lot easier. So all these graphics here um, are actually from Merch Informer. These are free graphics if you're from Merch Informer. Uh, and this is just the last ones from the month. So let me show you that 
um, before I show you the other steps. So here I am in Merch Informer. If you just logged in and you have access to it, you would go here, Merch Informer Graphics. I'm gonna click here. And you can see here, this is one of the graphics I took. I downloaded all the graphics for just April 2021. And those graphics that you saw, those six, were just a few of the hundred graphics that come uh, in April. So you can use any of these if you're in Merch Informer. And of course, like they have them for every month all the way back to, let's see, wow, it's, it's a lot, to November 2019. So you have access to all those graphics. If you want a taco, you want a cat, a pair of gloves, like they got literally everything on here. Um, a lot of them, you know, some of them are better than others, but you can see the ones that I picked were really good. If you want a horse like that, a crown, there's some there's some really good ones in there. Not, I would say, to be honest, not every single one of these are gonna be um, perfect for t-shirts, but there are a lot of them, and you saw some of them right there. So that's graphic. You can use any graphic you want. You don't have to use Merch Informer graphics. You can draw your own graphics. You can get graphics from other places, like from Vexels or wherever you want. I didn't put Vinted Sunset in here, but you obviously could put a Vinted Sunset as your graphic if you have something there, like I did with the sushi thing. I just wanted to show you that there are a lot of graphics that would work with the arc text, right? You can see right here, um, it would fit perfect. It kind of has its arc anyway on a lot of these, right? So if you put arc text above any of these, it would work really well. So you're gonna pick a graphic first. That's the easiest thing. And I'm gonna just pick the hedgehog first in my example, and we're gonna um, work with that. So once you pick the graphic, you're gonna go on to step two. So step two is picking the phrase. So now that you have your graphic, you're gonna have to figure out a phrase that works well with your graphic, okay? So you can look online, maybe do a Google search, maybe look for puns, maybe look for things for your hedgehog. Um, and ideally you want two to three words for an arc at the top. Uh, you could use one long word if you want, but if you have shorter words, two to three words, and then one to four words below the graphic. Now these are not hard and fast rules. These are just ideally what you wanna do. Of course, you just wanna make it readable. You wanna make it look good. So if you have too many words on there and they become too small, then it's gonna be harder to read. So that's mainly why I put these things here. So. Uh, do it what you want. It depends on the font as well. So I'm going to just use this right here. This is I just want hedgehogs. So uh, we notice if you've seen a lot of my videos, the pun for hedgehogs uh, was trending hedgehogs. And then I just added this text I just want so that's something above it. So instead of just having hedgehogs one line, uh, I wanted to put something above the hedgehog, right? So I came up with this I just want. And you just can use any phrase you want if you're making up uh, some phrases. If you want to go look for trending phrases, that's fine too. But if you want to make up your own original phrase, that would be great. And that's one way you can do it. Uh, using puns is another one. Rhyming words, right? We said like that. Alliteration is another one. So I'm using this font here. It's called Glorious Sunday Title. I think you can find it in creative, on Creative Market. Uh, you can use that. That's what this is. I wanted to do a handwritten font in this example and one that's kind of tall just so I can fit it all together. Uh, when it's arc there, I can fit a lot more letters. If it's wider, then I'm gonna have to use something that has less letters, but uh, this works really well. And my drawing kind of looks hand-drawn, so you wanna kind of match the text with the feel of the graphic, okay? So that's very important. Uh, next thing you wanna do is just put it all together. So let me show you what I did. So here, very basic, I just want hedgehogs. I just arc the text. Now you're probably wondering, how did you arc the text? It's just a shape. So just draw this shape. Let me move this down just a little bit so you can see. I'm gonna move this this way. If I arc the text like this, and I take out the stroke, pull it all the way down, and let me just do that. And then I use the text tool here, the artist text tool. I'll click on it. And then as I hover over here, you may have seen this in my other videos, click and then start typing. I, well, it has, the text has to be dark. It's white right now. I uh, just want, so you can see that. The I needs to be capitalized. Let's do that. And then to center it, I take these triangles here and then move it there and then this other triangle here and then click on all of it 
and make sure that it's centered. You can see right here it says center align. There, just like that. And then, of course, the graphic I had. And this hedgehogs is just regular text. Super simple, right? You can do this. I just want hedgehogs. It looks great, right? And the next thing you want to do is put it on a black t-shirt. So this would work well on your white t-shirt. And you can just use this on your white t-shirt. That's fine. So let's, um, this is the basic. So let me show you how to kind of up it just a little bit. So first, we're going to put it on a black shirt, right? So you may notice what I did to change it on a black shirt. This is a black background. This is just, you know, there. So I changed the text to white, right? Because white stands out on black. It stands out. And I did it here too. But you may have noticed here the black outline on the graphic kind of blends into the t-shirt. And it's fine. It looks okay because there's color in it. But if you want the uh, graphic to stand out just a little bit more, you can add a white outline. So let me show you step two. I'm going to add a white outline and I'm going to add some other little things just to make it stand out just a little bit more. So here's the next thing. I added the white outline. I changed some color in the text. So I picked the color from his paws here and I used some hearts. You can just draw hearts here, right? This is a simple graphic on Affinity Designer. Draw a heart and then fill it with the color. So this is how I did it. Pick the color from, you know, his foot here, his arm, and boom. Now I'm using the same color. I'm using that same color for this text. Uh, the reason I colored this one just to give it some interest, but it also reads well instead of I just want, if you didn't use that word, it would say I want hedgehogs, right? And then the next thing I put uh, more text here. This font right here is Glorious Sunday Script. And just to give it a little more interest and have a different font, I added this line here. I just want lots and lots of hedgehogs with the heart here. And you can see now it's still that tall rectangle, right? That shape that we want. And it's still using that arc with graphic text technique. But by adding just a little more graphics, another line of text, a different kind of font, some color, it just gave it just that little extra oomph that it needs to stand out even more from the competition. Okay, so think about that. You can always level up your designs just a little bit more and a little bit more. So I'm giving you the basics with the arc and the graphic and the text underneath. But once you get that, once you get those basics, now you can add just a little bit more and a little bit more to it. So this is the final product here. I just want lots and lots of hedgehogs. It's an original uh, phrase. Uh, it may be copied now that it's on this video, but uh, that's fine. I, I came up with this. You probably won't see this phrase anywhere. You may see I just want hedgehogs or I just I want hedgehogs or hedgehogs. But because I added this text here, lots and lots of hedgehogs, that's different than everybody else, right? So um, that's how you can make your stand out. That's how you can make it different. That's how you can use uh, this arc plus design technique, this method that I'm teaching you here real simple um, to do and just have fun with this guys this is a real simple technique again this isn't the only technique to design t-shirts i use it a lot and you've seen other people use it a lot it's just a real simple way if you have a nice graphic uh, that takes up the space that you want to take up most of the space on the design then you can use this right here so it's it's perfect for those once you have a good graphic that's why i say start with the graphic first so that is it for this video thanks so much for watching let me know in the comments if this is something that you can do or if you want to do or if you want to learn more uh, t-shirt designs for non-designers i got a lot more techniques out there that i can help you with thanks again for watching this video and your reward is another edition of trend credits Thanks for staying here for the trend credit. Here is your trend, dad of the sweet one. So take a look at these. Got some low BSRs and they're going to continue to get lower and lower as we get closer to Father's Day. I just wanted to show you this another way to do a Father's Day t-shirt. So th this is kind of the opposite of dad of the wild one, uh, which was trending a lot. It's still trending right now. Sells great on Father's Day. Um, but uh, you can use other topics here. This, I, that's why I wanted to show you this because you could do dad of the pretty one or dad of the sporty one, whatever you want. Um, dad of the sweet one is trending. This one typically has donuts or some kind of sweet thing. You can see uh, candy or things like that. So uh, let me show you in Merchant Former. 
it's getting an A, so you know it's good. So Merch Informer, if you don't have it, I have a link in the description to Merch Informer. Of course, you can check competition, and I showed you in this video, you can use the graphics, tons of graphics there, as well as checking trademarks and keyword research, a lot of things like that. So really cool program I use a lot. Uh, let me show you the trend again, Dad of the Sweet One. Let me just show you Dad of the Wild One. It is kind of saturated, but let me show you the idea. You can see Diet of the Wild One. It is like people are looking for this all the time. Diet of the Wild One. Different ways you can do that. But you can see lots more results than the other one. Um, but that's how you do Diet of the Wild One. Which makes me think you can do some other takes on this. So have fun with this one. Dad of the sweet one, dad of the wild one. Those are your trends for today. Of course, uh, you can make your own. So you can do different ways. Just put in your adjective here instead of wild or sweet. You can use something else. So have fun with this. Make uh, sure that you have some good designs for Father's Day. It's coming up and the sales are going to um, pick up anytime soon, if not already. So that is your trend for today. Dad of the sweet one or dad of the wild one. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you like this video and if there are other techniques that you would like to see uh, that you want to learn how to do with t-shirt design. I'd love to help you with it. And if this video gave you some value, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I've already got 25,000 subscribers, which is crazy that's so many uh, subscribers already uh, thank you all that have subscribed already and those that haven't please subscribe uh, make sure we get that subscriber count up and uh, so that you can see all the videos that i have for you uh, lots of videos coming in the future got lots planned and if you want to see more of my videos you can click these right here i'll put the ones about the designing for non-designers and as always keep creating and keep learning i'll see you on the next one bye